not sure how much Atha Munoz is looking at those leaderboards, but she probably yeah. can't believe that she is now within four of the lead. For Munoz's position, you couldn't have asked for more. The player leading the tournament being over par for their third round, coming back to the field, and you're gaining on them quickly. Costly six at 13 for, for Megan McLaren. That's a picture postcard uh, side, isn't it? Looking uh, across to uh, the Sierra Blanca Mountains. Here on the... Uh, separates the golf course and, of course, the Mediterranean coast. side of this 16th fairway. Birdie this hole, didn't she? Earlier this morning. I think she's going to do it again. Yeah. Out of bounds down the left on 16. Bunkers on the right-hand side. maneuver that she was doing before as a rehearsal trying to use her legs getting the strength up from the ground Man, no man. Bounds up on the green, Pedersen found the middle of the fairway, and McLaren couldn't find the bottom of the cup, just a four. By the way, Munoz has just bogeyed the 13th hole, so she's gone back to two under. Five behind Aturios. Safely down the centre of 16. Group in front on the green, Lieutenant for her birdie free. This group also uh, went off the first hole. Shotgun start. Apologies to those of you who uh, have been with us all the, all the way, but of course, not everyone would have done. And I'm wondering why uh, I'm talking about Atha Munoz dropping a shot at the 13th. Everyone going off different holes. Munoz went off at 17. Of course, the leaders went off at the first. Gadali. Trying to get one in close here on the 14th over that bunker. Back you come. That is the one positive out of these soft golf courses, the amount of spin you can generate on those wedges. That from Rude here at this uh, par 3 15th. Level par for the day and the tournament. Probably not for much longer. That was close, wasn't it? Can't see it over the bunker. She'll be delighted when she gets up there. Surely. Indeed. <laughs> Within two, five under.
Only between them over the back nine. And it's brought a lot of players uh, into contention. Anna Pelaev, the amateur. Going great guns. Uh, look at Annabelle Dimmock. She's just birdied the par five, seventh, six. Emily Pedersen has been used to being in the lead the last couple of weeks with two wins. She's back into a share of the lead and the centre of the fairway with her approach to 16. Oh, it's a cracker, isn't it? You're watching somebody that's full of confidence. A machine like. Yeah, a little bit unlucky there, actually. Hit it to about three feet, spun it back to more like eight feet. But it's a lovely feeling when you when you're in a rich vein of form like she is, and every shot she's hitting is pretty much where she wants to hit it. Just enjoy it while you can, because it it doesn't happen that often. Well, let's see if Ituriath can respond after a wonderful start in the third round. She's sort of given it all away. Needs a strong finish. Beautiful. Well, that's a great reply, isn't it? All over it, and that's a really good chance for a birdie. Yeah, that was special, that really was. So 16, 17 and 18 for the last group to finish. It was a shotgun start, that's why players are seemingly out of order, but they're in the right spot. Everybody's got sort of two, two and a half holes to play. 17th tee. This has been a good performance too. Absolutely, she's in very good form. She's had a really good finish the last couple of weeks. And uh, she's not, you know, she's not immune to winning. She's, she's won before, just not on this tour. All of these players have played college golf in America. Nearly everybody these days has played college golf in America. They probably play more golf than the, than the pros do, in all honesty. Now, these three and four footers have to be hit nicely. <laughs> Well done. Well played. <laughs> yeah, she's delighted with that. And this may be just right edge, maybe. Blasted through the break. All these players that are up near the lead or in contention for a top 10 spot Finish nicely on day three, it's so important. They played a lot of golf in difficult conditions. They'll be tired. Pedersen. Just, just a tiny bit more pace. Good read, just, yeah. Got to get that a little bit, 12 inches past the hole, that's in. So she is still tied for the lead, but Ituriath has, well, a very makeable putt from four feet or so. Chuntering away. Pedersen. She definitely wears her heart on her sleeve, Emily. You're under no illusions how she's feeling. So, striking a blow for Spain. Iturioff to go out in front again on her own. That's really well done. Superb tee shot on second. Deserve that. Quite a contrast in emotions between the two leaders coming off that green. Very much so. They couldn't be much more different, to be perfectly honest. And Kelsey's the one in the middle. She just sort of goes along at her own pace and doesn't really show anything, really, at all. So, two holes left. Two hundred and eighty yards to the front edge. Trying to advance it as far as possible. Yeah, I mean, it's two par fives to close, but, they're, I mean, they're, they're not gimme birdies, are they? 17 isn't, no. Where that flag is as well, there's a false front. It'll be easily spin it off the front of this green. What makes this shot difficult is that it's a big right-to-left slope that you're hitting off, and there's bunkers ready to gather that ball on the left-hand side. See it being pushed over to the right 
trying desperately to stay away from the trouble on the left, and she's found the trouble on the right. Yeah, I'm not sure there's a, a way through from over there either for Luna Sabron. Love to be uh, in that final three ball with her fellow Mallorcan, Nuria Iturios. They've known each other since they were young girls. It would have been a dream back then to be battling it out for their national championship, the Spanish Open trophy. This lady's lifted it a couple of times. Looking to get back on track after that drop shot at 13. Looking to take advantage of that slope, but fails. She will know that that pin is dangerous to go at in her home golf club, keeping it well right of it. Must hit the fairway here. It's superb. She's just gone back into the, the lead by shot. They're playing together. They're watching each other. Sanna Newtonen, you would have thought, might have snuck up on the rails. It hasn't really happened, Trish. No, uh, nothing really exciting. She's had a lot of good shots. Just doesn't seem to be, you know, well at the uh, the Women's Open this year at Troon. And yeah, I think uh, you know she'll be the the player in form. And you never know, you know, a lot of players' first wins on the LPGA have been major championships, especially US Open. You know, the players at the top haven't done too much, so the pressure of a lead has affected a few. Yes, yeah, Sabron. Having a, an issue there, birdie at the last, now played three at that par five. Another significant point is the greens. You're playing golf at lunchtime now, they've dried out. They're the same pace. For the players that were starting early morning, you were starting in the dark, it was cold, it was wet. Conditions really did change throughout the day and so did the greens. A lot more consistent this afternoon for every player. Work to do for Sabron then to try and stay at five under. Missing that flag right and finishing back down where Megan McLaren is. That's overly safe there. Luna Sabron. Finds another one. Maha with a birdie two. Gets her to minus five and tied third with Lebruna Sabron who's struggling on this hole. McLaren also struggling at this hole. Well, she's got uh, timber in the hand. Waiting for the green, Emily Pedersen. monster tee shot down here talk about that bunker being 284 yards off the tee to carry it that's about where she is there 220 yards to the front edge for Pedersen no wonder she's waiting
She's made a bit of a mess of this, Sabron. And we're getting to five. She's going back to four at best. Another player has just dropped a shot. First of the day is the uh, the amateur. Pelaeth has uh, gone back to two under. to remain at one under par. Really good save there. Stroke's looking good. Putting it under some pressure, Megan, but it's holding up well. She's been out here a while now. Ma Hadwe, that's a disappointing tee shot. Yeah, pretty much sums up Santa Newton's uh, third round, that one. saying seven iron, the, the longest iron she has in her bag. Yeah, three hybrids. Which are ideal for those type of shots uphill. Have to carry the bunker to that front pin. for a birdie for Alice Houston. The chance is uh, long evaporated. It's a six for Sabron. So that leaves the uh, green clear for this young lady. Other two of already laid up 229 yards for Pedersen well I'm assuming that fell into the bunker emphasizes her power though doesn't it easily make that in two playing it a, a different way here the tournament leader hoping to put out one of those wedges that she did at the previous hole above the feet so all I want to go left on her two really good wedges that she's hit into 16 and 17 The smiles are back. Nuria Turios. As she was starting round three, eight under par. Leading the way by one from Pedersen. My Adwi. In 
the bunker at 16. Three off the lead. Luna Sobron with that drop shot at 17. You can see Munoz and Pelaez both uh, just dropping shots recently as well. Back to two under par, but they're 